ओम शांति ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ नवम्बर इंग्लिश मुरली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन बाबाज विजन गोज बियॉन्ड द लिमिटेड एंड द अनलिमिटेड यू टू हैव टू गो बियॉन्ड द लिमिटेड गोल्डन एज एंड द अनलिमिटेड आयन एज क्वेश्चन वीट चिल्ड्रन आर एबल टू इम्बाइब द हाइस्ट ऑन हाई ज्वेल्स ऑफ नॉलेज वेरी वेल आंसर दोज हुज योगा ऑफ द इंटरलेक्ट इज कनेक्टेड टू द वन फादर एंड हु हैव बिकम प्योर विल बी एबल टू इम्बाइब दीज ज्वेल्स वेरी वेल अ प्योर वेसल इज नीडेड फॉर दिस नॉलेज ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ रॉन्ग थॉट्स हैव टू एंड बाई हैविंग योगा विद द फादर your vessel becomes golden and the jewels are then able to stay there om shanti the spiritual father sits here and explains every day to you sweetest spiritual children it has been explained to you children that this world cycle of knowledge devotion and disinterest has been created this knowledge should remain in your intellects you children have to go beyond the limited and the unlimited the father is beyond the limited and the unlimited you should understand the meaning of that too the spiritual father sits here and explains to you this topic knowledge devotion and disinterest also has to be explained knowledge is called the day when it is a new world devotion and ignorance do not exist there that is limited world because there are very few people there and then growth gradually takes place after half the cycle devotion begins the sanyas religion doesn't exist there there is no renunciation there then later the world population grows souls continue to come from up above and growth continues to take place here it begins by being limited and goes on to become unlimited the father's vision goes beyond the limited and the unlimited he knows that there are very few children in the limited and that so much growth then takes place in the kingdom of ravana you now have to go beyond the limited and the unlimited the world is so small in the golden age there is no renunciation or disinterest to them later in the copper age the other religions begin there is the sanyas religion where they renounce their homes and families everyone has to know about these things that is called hatha yoga and limited renunciation they simply renounce their homes and families and go to the forest devotion begins in the copper age there is no knowledge knowledge means the golden and silver ages and happiness whereas devotion means ignorance and sorrow this has to be explained very well then you have to go beyond happiness and sorrow beyond the limited and the unlimited people try to discover how high the sky is and how deep the ocean is they try so hard but are unable to reach the end they fly an aeroplane but it has to have enough fuel so that it can also return they go very far but they cannot go into the unlimited they only go as far as the limited you are going beyond the limited and the unlimited you can now understand that in the beginning in the new world there is the limited there are very few people and that is called the golden age you children should have the knowledge of the beginning middle and the end of creation no one else has this knowledge the father who is beyond the limited and unlimited is the one who explains to you no one else can explain this to you he explains to you the secrets of the beginning middle and end of creation he then says you have to go beyond this there is nothing there no matter how far people go there is just the sky everywhere that is called going beyond the limited and the unlimited 
No one can reach the end. They would say that it is infinite. To say that it is infinite is easy. But they should understand the meaning of infinite. The father is now giving you understanding. The father says, I know the limited and also the unlimited. Such and such a religion was established at such and such a time. Your vision goes towards the limit to the golden age and then to the unlimited iron age. Then we will go beyond to where there is nothing. We are going even above the sun and moon to where our sweet home, the land of peace is. In fact, the golden age too is our sweet home where there is peace and also the fortune of the kingdom and happiness. They are both there. When we go home, there will just be peace there. You wouldn't mention happiness there. You are now establishing peace and also peace and happiness. There is peace and also the kingdom of happiness there. There is no question of happiness in the incorporeal world. Your kingdom continues for half the cycle. And then, after half the cycle, there is the kingdom of Ravana. There is peacelessness through the five vices. You rule for 2,500 years. After 2,500 years, there is the kingdom of Ravana. Those people have written about hundreds of thousands of years. They have made everyone into complete Buddhas. To say that the cycle of 5,000 years is hundreds of thousands of years is real foolishness. They do not have any manners at all. The deities had such divine manners that has now become a lack of manners. They don't know anything. They have developed devilish traits. Previously, you too didn't know anything. They made others unhappy by using the sword of lust and causing one another sorrow from the beginning through the middle to the end and that is why they are called Ravana's community. They have portrayed Rama taking an army of monkeys. Ramachandra belonged to the Silver Age. So, how could there have been monkeys there? Then, they also say that the Sita of Rama was above it. Such things do not happen there. There won't be as many of the 8.4 million species of living things and animals there. In the Golden and Silver Ages, the father sits here and explains the whole unlimited drama. You children have to become very far-sighted. Previously, you didn't know anything at all. Although, you are human beings. You didn't know the play. You now understand who the greatest of all is. The highest on high is God. They also sing the verses. Your name is the highest. This is not in the intellect of anyone except you. You are also number wise. The Father tells you the secrets of both the limited and the unlimited. There is nothing beyond that place. That is your place of residence, which is also called Brahmand. Similarly, you are sitting in the element of sky here, but can you see anything of it? They refer to the radio as a sound from the ether. This sky is infinite. You cannot reach its end. So, what would people understand by calling it the sound from the ether? The mouth is also hollow. Sound emerges from the mouth. It is common for sound to emerge from your mouth and that is called Akashwani, sound from ether. The father also has to speak through the ether. He has told you children the whole significance of yourselves. You now have faith. It is very easy. Just as we are souls, so the father is the supreme soul. He is the highest soul of all. Everyone has received his own part. The highest of all is God. And then there is the dual bead of the family path. Then look how small the number wise rosary is. Then as the world grows, it becomes so large. There is the rosary of so many millions of beads, that is of souls. All of this is the study. Invite very well in your intellects. 
Whatever the father explains, you continue to hear the details of the tree. The seed is up above. This is a variety tree. Its duration is so long. The tree continues to grow and so let just this remain in your intellects the whole world. The duration of the Kalpa tree of this world is absolutely accurate. In 5000 years, there cannot be the difference of even a second. You children, who are very strong, have so much knowledge in your intellects. Only when you are pure can you be strong. In order to imbibe this knowledge, a golden vessel is required. Then it will become so easy, as easy as it is for Baba. Then you will also be called Master Knowledgeful. The bits of the rosary will be created number-wise according to the effort you make. No one except Baba can explain these things to you. This soul is also explaining to you. The father only explains through this body, not through the body of the deities. The father only comes once and becomes your guru. But even then, it is the father who has to play that part. He will come and play his part in 5000 years time. The father explains, I am the highest on high. Then there is the dual bid. Those who are the emperor and empress at the beginning then become Adidev and Adi Devi at the end. You have all of this knowledge in your intellects. If you explain this anywhere, they will be amazed. What you are saying is right. Only the seed of the human world tree is knowledgeful. No one apart from him can give knowledge. All of these things have to be imbibed, but children are unable to imbibe them. It is very simple. There is no difficulty. First, the pilgrimage of remembrance is needed so that the jewels can stay in pure vessels. These are the highest on high jewels. Baba was a jeweler. He used to receive very good diamonds and emeralds, and he would keep them in silver box, beautifully laid on cotton wool. Anyone who saw them would say, this is something first class. It is the same here. Good things look nice in good containers. Your ears hear this and you imbibe it. If there is purity and your intellect's yoga is connected to the Father, you will imbibe it well. Otherwise, everything will flow away. A soul is so tiny and is filled with so much knowledge. Such a good and pure vessel is required. No thoughts should arise. All wrong and bad thoughts should end. Remove your intellect's yoga from everything else. By having yoga with me, your vessel will be made golden so that the jewels can stay in it. Then you can continue to donate to others. Bharat is considered to be a great donor. People donate a lot of physical wealth. However, this is the donation of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Renounce everything, including your body and yet your intellects, yoga. Remain connected to the one. We belong to the Father and it is in this that effort is needed. The Father gives you your aim and objective. It is the children's duty to make effort. It is only now that you can claim such a high status. Let there be no wrong or impure thoughts. The Father alone is the ocean of knowledge. He is beyond the limited and the unlimited. He sits here and explains everything. You think that Baba is seeing you, but in fact, I go up above beyond the limited and the unlimited. I am the residence of that place. You too have to go beyond the limited and the unlimited. Let there be no ordinary or impure thoughts. This requires effort. While living at home with your family, you have to live like a lotus. Let your hands do the work while your heart remembers Baba. There are many householders. The children who live here do not take as much knowledge as householders do. Even those who run centers and read the Murli fail 
whereas those who are just studying go higher. As you progress further, you will continue to know everything. Everything Baba tells you is absolutely right. Those who used to teach have been eaten by Maya. Maya completed, swallowed some Maharathis. They are no longer here. They become influenced by Maya and become traitors abroad too. Some become traitors. They go to other places and seek refuge there. They go to the side that is powerful. At this time, death is just ahead. And so they go to the one who has a lot of power. You now understand that only the father is powerful. The father is the almighty authority. By teaching us, he makes us unto the masters of the whole world. There, we receive everything. There is nothing lacking there which we would need to make effort to attain. There, there is nothing that you don't have. And in that too, you attain a status number-wise according to the effort you made. No one except the Father knows these things. All are worshippers. There are the great Simpacharyas and Baba tells you their praise too. They are the ones who become the instruments to support Bharat well at first with the power of purity, that is, when they too are Satopradhan. They are now Tamopradhan. What power do they have now? You who were worshippers are now making effort to become worthy of worship. You now have all the knowledge in your intellects. Let your intellects invite these things and continue to explain them to others. Also remember the Father. The Father alone explains the secrets of the whole tree. You children have to become just as sweet. This is a battle, is it not? Many storms of Maya come. Everything has to be tolerated. When you stay in remembrance of the Father, all storms will go away. They show the play of Hatantai, putting a bed in your mouth. When the bed is put in your mouth, Maya goes away. When the bed is removed, Maya comes. There is also the touch me not plant. As soon as you touch it, it whirls. Maya is very clever. While you are studying such an elevated study and just sitting here, she makes you fall. And this is why the father continues to explain. Consider yourselves to be brothers and you will be able to go beyond the limited and unlimited. If the body doesn't remain, where would your vision go? You have to make so much effort. You must not become unconscious on just hearing about it. Your effort continues every cycle and you claim your fortune of the kingdom. The father says, forget everything you have studied, but listen to the things that you have never heard before and have remembrance. That is called the path of devotion. You are Raj Rishis. Conduct them only with your hair loss. Everything that the sages and holy men relate is a morley of human beings. This is the morley of the unlimited father. In the golden and silver ages, there is no need for the morley of knowledge. There, there is no need for knowledge or devotion. You receive this knowledge at the conference age and it is only the father who gives it to you. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now from children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for dharna. First point, let your intellect invite the jewels of knowledge and donate them. Remain in such a stage of being beyond the limited and the unlimited, that you never have any wrong or impure thoughts. Have the awareness that your souls are brothers. Second point, in order to be saved from storms of Maya, put the bead of remembrance of the Father in your mouth. Everything has to be tolerated. Do not become a touch-me-not plant. 
do not be defeated by Maya. Blessing, may you become a destroyer of attachment by experiencing God's company and being constantly detached in your logic and alokic life. Description, the sign of being constantly detached is to experience God's love and to the extent that there is love, you will accordingly remain together and not be separated. Love is that which enables you to stay together since the Father is with you, hand over all your burdens to the Father and become light. This is the way to become a destroyer of obstacles. However, underline the word constant in the subject of effort. Remain constantly detached in your logic and a logic life and you will experience constant company. Slogan, make the snake of vices your bed and you will become an easy yogi. Om Shanti.